Monday. Happy wow. Monday, everybody. Happy How are you Monday. all doing? Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're excited for another week of really good whiskey lives. Indeed, Absolutely. I am so excited for today. Oh my god, it is a real, real honor, I would say, and treat. Absolutely, absolutely. You know what? We have done a lot of whiskey tasting, giveaways, lives, cool things. I've never been as excited <laughs> for a live as I am for this one because we are unboxing. Wow, wow, wow. Eight decades. This is the McAllen Eight Decades. Eight decades. Exactly. It is worth over £22,000. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try very hard not to drop it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I kind of like, if you've noticed, I just noticed this now, yeah. is that on the main box, they've put like cherubs holding a uh, McCallum yes. whiskey, yeah. kind of linking it with God, even. Ah. <laughs> I thought it was one of the seven wonders of the world. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think most people watching um, i certainly never seen a picture of the actual box that's coming no me neither so it's quite cool also, to have seen it i'm also wondering how on earth we're going to actually get it out of the, <laughs> the box that's going to be there. interesting stay um, tuned to find and out stay tuned and also and we're going to be giving <laughs> this away um to the lucky runner. and we're going to play the distillery game so we're going to give away some free samples game. as well from our little infinity box so i'm going to put this aside for me just for a minute. For a minute. The so, the centre stage to our absolutely, and let's see if we can have a real lovely look. Wow! How so, shall we start? Shall we? Try well, and I think we have to then? take the box out. Right. Of the box. <laughs> I think. I what take I it on the floor. Is, put I'm going to say, floor. let's put it down, yeah. and then we'll lift up. So, so Shelley, I'm yes. not sure um, a lot of our viewers would actually know. Yes. But before you started on whiskey, you were actually in the music industry. I was. So a this long has got a time ago. A big affinity to <laughs> yes, you. Yes, not singing, just just. <laughs> yeah, one just, of the, uh, just in case anybody was. Uh, <laughs> we'll have a rendition. <laughs> Absolutely. No, no, no. The um, careful. Careful. Promotions, careful. marketing. So you really would have, not exactly, but you would have seen a lot of, you know, this these types of people and, and you would have been involved heavily. So this kind of speaks to maybe your two loves. Yes. Oh, However, I should just wow. point out quick, rather quickly that um, Sir Peter Blake and Sergeant Pepper's Somewhat before I was yes. born, yes. <laughs> but that doesn't mean people. You know, I may be old, and as you proved last night, I couldn't actually read without my reading glasses on. Yeah. However, <laughs> I wasn't around on Sergeant Pepper actually, sadly, because it's actually one of my favorite albums of all time. I have to say, mm. it was the thing as a kid that really got me into the Beatles. No, because so it's also you've got you've version. got like the zebra crossing in St John's mm. where you see loads of people this, come uh, and it yes. causes traffic. I hate it, yeah. but, but that's people it, come to take the pictures. So. Yes. Different albums. This is something which is crazy because you know, Sir Peter Blake, he's the artist yes. who um, who did a lot of pop labels. Okay, so Sir Peter Blake, who turned, I'm going to come around the front. Yeah, oh, just okay. Who oh. turned eighty in two thousand and twelve when they released this? Oh, just a CD falling out. Don't worry. I don't even know if you can play a CD anymore. I have no machine at home who can play a CD. Did you know that? My laptop doesn't accept CDs anymore. My TV doesn't accept really? CDs. This is going to be your next birthday present. Yeah, I'll take it without the CD. <laughs> <laughs> or with the CD. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Right, let's have a well, oh. You know, I'm, not, I'm looking at this. I'm like, okay, I can't <laughs> wait to get offline and then just come around there. And... So, Danny, go on, tell us what you can see. Okay. Say what you see. Say what you see. <laughs> Wow. So, from what I can gather, and I know Alex has, has done a lot of right. research on this, so you yeah. can point out what things are individually. Shoot. But eight Shoot. decades, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that no? That's so a bit, yeah. Am I side, yeah. Oh, I might have missed two yeah. down here. So there's eight. eight. So there's the 1930s. Yeah, I think the earliest whiskey is from 1937. Yeah, and yeah, the so oldest. you've got a whiskey from each decade. Right. So they've put in a whiskey going from. 1930s and the last one was bottled in 2002. Okay, and I also ah, read the that elements. the theme is um, the four elements. Fire, so some earth, of the, yeah, exactly. Some water, of that is, fire, the, is uh, the four elements. Some uh, of it is to do with <coughs> what's inspired. Yeah, so people but make. the four elements are the four. They're also the whiskey making elements because they're the, the so they were putting it in. Because I I know that this must be the 1930s because mm -hmm. I read that it was a fire bucket. Ah. Mm. Oh. 
was for the cheese. So Sir Peter Blake was born, I think it was 1932. So his childhood would have taken out in the 30s. He's not doing that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. You hold it would have, been, that time. It would have yeah. taken up the 30s and then the 40s. So you can see the RAF on there as well. Uh, is that matches? Yes, matches. I'm, yes, he, um, I read about the match. Oh, that obviously that's fire. Of, yeah, exactly. That's part of the um, And then I also or... read that the gun boots were from Sir Peter Blake's private collection. Yeah. There were a lot of things that were inspired in his life. And there's also a book in here as well, which yeah, has won awards. Side. Oh, what? Does it come out? It's, it should come out and it's signed. It's his collection. Oh, I'm at it. <laughs> it's scared. actually really... I'm scared to pull is it this, out. I'll we'll do it when we close it. Okay. Let's do it. I presume you push it from there. Oh, be... it's... or can you pull it out forwards? No, it comes out the comes side. Out the side. So, oh, this opens up more. <gasps> what opens? Yes, yeah, so there maybe is a no, door. No, this one doesn't know, does it? Doesn't seem like it does. Well, as oh, you guys can it, yes. tell, oh, no, no, this is does. the first <gasps> time we've done this it. This is so. It's like a doll's house for adults. <laughs> for whiskey. <laughs> See, you've got here as well. <laughs> so classic. You've Barbie got here as well. Oh, that's really interesting. Six. So this inside of this CD, I think, yes. if I'm not mistaken, I don't yeah. know if you guys can tell, this one was a, it's got the pictures oh, of the I first saw. release from his 1926 oh, okay. bottle. Can we inside. take that out? Well, you can take out the CD. I don't think no, can we take out the out. box? No, that's the and then rejected. you've got the Beatles on the front, which obviously is why he's famous. Oh, um, look, this has got like a, 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 a seal. Oh, oh it does. Oh, oh, careful. careful, I'm going to... That will be every... Oh, we're just oh, it's getting designed as a record. Let me see. Yeah. That's because cool. that's... Oh, the Quinto so Peter Blake, a lot of what he's done is done the art covers for records. I'm going to actually mm -hmm. put that on the side so we don't have any issues. Maybe the art. And then over here, it looks like he's got his knighthood. So if you look down there, I don't know if you can see, but you've got a little um, medal which you oh, get given yes. if you become a sir. Ah, indeed. So that's probably, it's interesting because it's linked to the 80s, so that's maybe when he yeah. became knighted, I'm not sure. Over here is a, a half penny, which yeah. is from the 50s. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know why they've chosen the 50s, because wasn't it in the 70s that they went to the new county? I think it was the 70s that they got rid of. Um, yeah, I don't know why they did that. So I'm not sure why the Hickney is. I had a piece of paper with some of the. Yeah, so you've got it? so you got that. Yeah. That's quite You know cool what? Well. Bring the camera forward. The, the thing. Camera. You can see, see our can. heads. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There we go. And let's tilt and this then, a little bit down. Yeah. Exactly. 60s. Was there anything to do? The 60s is most is the Sound of Pepper album cover. Yeah, but. Is that because you've got the rainbow flag on there? Is that prior to yeah, no, that the was right? Pride was a pride thing. I think that's just Sergeant Pepper psychedelia, 60s pop culture. Oh. Right, and then you've got a ship in the bottle, steam engine. Yeah. It's got the McCann top over there as well. That's ah, quite cool. Yes. It's a cool little top. Ah, and that's inside. Oh, I see. Before, and I said it's the seal. It's just that you can see the top of the bottle here. I yeah, that's just uh, that must be the bottle. No, no, it's not. Is it separate? It's separate. It's cool. Um, on the, on the whiskey it's, note, yes. look at the colours of the whiskey. The yes. whiskey looks it's great. Gorgeous. But you see there at the bottom the little fish. fish. Oh, see, yeah. this is a cask, which is obviously that's a fish. throwback. Uh, I don't know if we should take that. And the W. This is a it. Sir Peter Blake um, style, like the letter the collage. W. And the fish there is to do with sound oh, you've got really good whiskey i've oh, got her oh, that's that's get rid of the really good whiskey part wow i want to know if there's really matches in here mind your head careful oh let's see there we go oh, something's in there oh look at that wow some art no matches you can't light anything on fire <laughs> in there but you've got a little bit of artwork back there yeah so the fish is a is a nod to the fishing in Scotland, the salmon fishing. Oh, on the that's, state, yes. on the East Elke yes. estate, you can go mm -hmm. fishing. So and that's funny enough. Estate. That fish, um, and Danny will tell you when when, when she was young, um, her great uncle had a fish oh, just like that on his did. kitchen wall, and he used to press the button and it would sing. <laughs> that, that was it would sing. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. I would sing that, and it would take say, me "Take me river. to the river." <laughs> There's an exact yes. same one in the Serial Killer Cafe in London. Oh, and then in, in, in the O's, so you've got just a picture of him himself. What's 
You've got a little a bunny mouse. there. So a mouse. mouse. Oh, yeah. oh, it's, a that's to a to it's a nod to computers and computer mouse. Oh, oh, of course. There's a lot of humour in this piece. Yeah. 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 It's a real work of art. That's yeah. it's, it's interesting that thinking about it now, everyone's got your smartphone, your computers. You, you, you don't really think that 20 years ago was when the first one came out, you know? Yeah. So wow. that's quite cool. I think what really you screams about this yeah. whole thing is is the amount of detail there is. Yeah. I think yeah. it's it's so beautiful and he really like captured yeah. each decade. Indeed. And of course he designed the label for each of the bottles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and they've really created a whole range of different you've got the anecdotes, you've got Sir Peter Blake Tier B, which is the new one which has come mm -hmm. out. So you've got quite a lot around Sir Peter Blake and his relationship with McAllen and and, and his visits there. Wow, I'd like to know about that. The dragon, the dragonfly. dragonfly. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. It's it's quite it's quite interesting as well because in 2012 it would have, in my opinion, it's just before the real whiskey boom, right? And you can see that a lot by the fact that this piece was released from McAllen at four and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. Now, if you think about it today that price would be at least double that for yes. something like this. Indeed. Here, I'll tell you what it says on... I've got a little sheet here, which um, I, which uh, we, we found. found. Well, Alex found. <laughs> okay, so the 1930s, which is the one at the top, it says that there's a fire bucket representing fire and water, a dancing tin duck, yeah, which is a replica of one of Sir Peter's favourite artworks from his own collection. Oh, cool. And then the 1940s, you've got the windproof matches representing yeah. air and fire a tin was well, that when they 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 invented i think that's matches, possibly maybe? when they first came out and also safety matches because before then you could you light a match on anything. anything um a tin damsel fly with no yes. explanations i'm not quite sure a small bottle with a painting of the queen mary one of the first pieces of art sir peter blake bought as a student in the late 40s Wow. And a pair of Wellington boots representing an original pair of Tom Thumb boots that Sir Peter had in his collection. And in the 1950s, a she devil on the cover of the book yep. and a half that's penny. Right. I'm not sure why that's what that is. It's 1960s, a CD with the cover of Beatles painting by Sir Peter Blake. Mm -hmm. um, 1970s, a teapot yep. and a roses painting and a small medallion. Where's that? Yes. Oh, here. Right here. Uh, the 80s, a robin painting, a known fishing and space salmon mm -hmm. indicative of the fishing on the McCann and Easter Alkies estate. And the 1990s, a collage, W for whiskey, reminiscent of Sir Peter Blake's style, and a McCallan cask, ah, representing the importance that? of the oak casks in the making of the McCallan whiskey. And in the 2000s, a porcelain mouse, representing the computer age. Wow. It's one of just 250 created. Yes. And it was created for his 80th birthday, which is, was 2012. So, so it's very special. Yes, what indeed. Is. I'd love to see this book. Yes, yeah. so would I. I. Should, I'm nervous to take it out. Yeah, we should um, <laughs> maybe close it up and then take it out because then that. we can potentially be more comfortable about pushing it. This is absolutely One second. Stunning. One second. I've is, never um, seen. Oh, 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 careful, careful. Oh. Let's close that. Okay. Now. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to rip anything. Let me just try. Yeah. So, there you go. I nice going to go. Now, this book apparently already yeah. won some awards. Oh, really? Yeah. You're holding from the back, right? I'm holding. Okay, there we are. Wow. We're going to really struggle to get that in. So, it's a lot about his life and and his artwork in there as well. Oh my goodness. I don't want to crease the... the... Oh. Maybe if you tilt it a little. Slightly bit more, yeah. Oh, what an amazing what piece. What an amazing thing to have. So this is what his decade. entire collect... Oh, it goes through each decade right. and the artwork is maybe oh, produced or collected. Yeah. So it's a real lovely piece of... I feel like it's it's a lot to do with him as opposed to to do with the whiskey. With just the whiskey is a part of it, obviously, and it, uh, McCallum clearly like curated it with him. I think it took them eighteen months between them to finalise the piece. Yeah. Um, you definitely get a real sense of him. Like I don't really know a lot about Sir Peter at all. Yeah, and you really do get a sense of like who mm -hmm. he is and what he's yeah. like and his interests yeah. and things. 
Yeah. So yeah. beautiful. Indeed. So they've done quite a few um, hookups with artists. Yes. And there you go. Uh, ah, yeah, the, the, the tin duck. Let's just put Very that interesting. Here. Wow, what a rare treat and a privilege. Yeah. There we are. Wow. Lovely. Amazing. Okay, so is that if I close it now, will that? That should be okay. Going, right, right, should we go back a bit with the Let's thing? Move the camera. Then, yeah. Let's okay. Up. Good stuff. Right. Is that okay? And then there's a nice warning from McAllen. Oh, oh yeah. Please be careful. <laughs> <That's> it, yeah. <laughs> Take great care. Take great care. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around like this. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, take great care when you speak to me. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Indeed. So very special. I'm a bit like in awe still. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's very, very cool to be able to actually show the world one mm. of these pre craze McCallum. Yes, it's true. It was pre craze, wasn't it? Because yeah. if you think about the release price of that, which was four and a half thousand pounds when it first came out. And you've got the, the next Peter Blake, which is a yeah. non age state of whiskey, um, which could, for all we know, just be a three year old whiskey. And yeah. they've released it. On general release, which is like a huge amount, yeah. for seven hundred fifty pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. But the amount of art and creativity yeah. and, and attention to attention detail. to detail that's gone so into that, and along with a lot of old whiskey. I yeah. mean, from each decade. You've got, not, okay, they're only small bottles, but there's whiskey in there from each of the decades. Comes from the fine and rare yeah. section of their Absolutely. estate. Should we give it away? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. That would be some serious giveaway. But talking of McCallan, yeah. talking of McCallan, <laughs> one of you lucky lot have won this Absolutely. lovely McCallan era. I think we should just play, okay, let's just lighten things up a little bit. Let's just play the distillery game first. Yeah. We can do that. Absolutely. I'm going to write on my piece of paper here. Have we got a phone with uh, the Instagram people? Yes, we do. Do you want my phone? phone? We can use your phone. Oh, you I go. got mine ready. No. 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 Uh, should we should we... another account. Yeah, okay. We can do it. Like right, I'm going to write here on my piece of paper a distillery. Not McAllen, there's a clue. Not McAllen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, okay. volume is on. Okay, if you think you can guess uh, which, which, uh, which distillery Shelly is writing down, Please write it in the comments. I've got the Instagram comments in front of me too, so we've got all the comments. Here's a clue. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good clue, though. That's a good clue. <laughs> uh, if you think you can guess which one it is, please do write it down, and whoever guesses it first will win a sample of our lovely Indeed. blender. Here, let me show you. Oh, someone said we can see her writing. Oh, well, you yeah, can but see her writing, but you, need to, but you need to know what it is. Here, I'll just, very... I'll just go this way and show these two what I wrote. Yep. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Someone say Tobermory, nope. Glen Caddam, Glen Farkless. See, these are all good guesses based on the fact that I didn't know how to spell it. I'm not sure if someone, when they were watching you write, uh, they were like, oh, lots of letters. Was, uh, you know, cut the screen. Glen Harbin, Glen Moray, <clears throat> Balmanet, Lefroy, Highland Park. All good guesses. All very good. But no all one has great distilleries. All, all great really distilleries. great distilleries. Absolutely. We've tried quite a few on this channel. We have, yep, haven't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the fun of it. Well, it Bruno. is in Scotland. It is in Scotland. That's a, that's a question. Glen Caddam. Talents, guest. Edgedore, Tom and Tall. Come on, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start with the clues in a minute. Not Tom and Tall. Oh. No, no, that was very close. No. Someone said, What's the question again? Guess, guess the distillery. distillery. Shelley's just written down a distillery, and you guys have to guess. And if you guess right, you can win a sample from our infinity, infinity bottle. bottle called Blender. She's great, and she's very sherry bomb <laughs> at the moment. She is, but she's a really I'm interested great also the people that won um, a taste of Blender recently for your comments and feedback Absolutely. on how you found she her. Bastion, so, should I give her a, a little uh, clue? I think they've got it. We're almost there. We're almost there. It's not that many left. 
Should I give, should I give a clue? Kill Karen, Tool of yeah, go on, give a clue. So my favourite one out of their range was the Pedro Jimenez one, mm -hmm. which is now... No. Which is now <laughs> been... Nearly Gavin Mills. Paused, I would say, for lack of um, supply. So... Ah, uh, yeah. And um, I'll give you a hint. It's full of raisins. That's all I get on the hit. Yeah. On the hit. It's, yeah, yeah. It tastes clue. great. It's a good clue. For anyone who's just joined, we are guessing the distillery. Shelley's written down a distillery. Whoever guesses it first is going to win a sample from our Infinity Bottle. I have blender. another clue if we need it. <laughs> ben Romack, Lafroy, Glen Morangi. I think I'm going to have to. I don't know what this clue. one is. I've never heard of that. Yeah, that's yeah. a Diageo one. Yeah. Oh. Um, should I give another clue? I'm ben going to give another clue. Lindrona, this Dalmore. distillery, although no longer was owned at one point in time by Billy Walker. Close. Balveni, Mortlach, Cardu. So it was, as I said, it was owned by Billy Walker at one point in time, but it's no longer. Who's going to get it? Lenanachli, Ardmore, oh. Blair Athol, Glendrona. Yay! Yeah, yes, Glass Gavin out. Mills! It's Glenn Glasser! Congratulations! See, I, I think I put two double S's in there. I think oh, it's two. in the same way, I think it is. Very good, Gavin Mills. Well done, Gavin Mills. A wee taste of Glenda will be on its way to you. Right, just pop over your address in a DM and I'll get it out to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Right, meantime, who won the McCallum? Who? So Aaron. should we remind everyone, because although it's not as expensive as the Peter Blake, yeah. I oh, did love the bottle absolutely. on this one as well. So this one is a beautiful bottle. Yeah. It can specifically was bottled for the Taiwan market. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to get hold of. And the prices range between 170 and 250 pounds. Yeah. Moment. So a very good giveaway. Yes. Very good giveaway. Indeed. And just before I, I take the winner out of the proverbial hat, because it's already populated in there because it's gone in. Um, I just wanted to remind everybody that Advent is now, thin I mean, Advent is now starting because Halloween, Halloween has finished. gone. It's basically Christmas already. So if you haven't got your Advent <laughs> calendar, what are you thinking? Absolutely. And we had a coupon. What was the coupon? For people watching our sec special secret. I can't remember. Is it a fiver? Yes, that was it. <laughs> it's a fiver. A fiver. Lucky you got me here, isn't it? <laughs> so, if you haven't yet got your ad whiskey advent, now is the time to do so. You can pick one up on our site. We have two versions. They are both great. And we'll be chasing them every day of advent event at 5.30 or 5 or something like that. Every we day. may need a little bit more time. Yeah, um, we've because we've got to do two. two. So, <laughs> it's a hard job. Indeed. So, who won? I'm getting yes, uh, I'm really right. excited well, for this one. Well, I hope it's we me. We definitely need mm -hmm. a drum roll. Do they like us how these how these people won? They liked, they shared, they commented. Indeed. And tomorrow we're and gonna they give, got involved. Yes. Tomorrow we're gonna try another whiskey and then we'll be giving that away. So watch tomorrow, same time. To really get your hands on one. Today's when it is. Drum roll again. Trumpets. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so I think it's a Twitter uh Instagram winner, Edinburgh Whiskey Guy. Edinburgh, so, Whiskey, Edinburgh Whiskey Guy. guy. Congratulations. That could be literally anyone. <laughs> Edinburgh Whiskey Guy. He, sound, he sounds like a worthy winner. He does. He sounds it like absolutely. he'll appreciate it. Probably, hopefully. <laughs> he did enter by sharing, liking, following us on social media. Absolutely. And then picked out by comment picker. Um, so if you want to be the lucky person, not the McAllen era, but tomorrow we will be trying a new bottle. And then we shall thus forth be giving that away too. So join us tomorrow at 5.30 for all your whiskey needs. Looking forward. Don't forget to grab your advent calendar before they are all sold out. Of course. Absolutely. See you guys. Thank you for joining us. Have a good See you soon.